today's video i'm sharing a breakfast snack dinner and dessert all low carb keto options if you're interested on seeing what i make keep on watching they said don't fall don't forget all the things you've been taught you we are going to start out with some egg muffin cups these are really easy to prep for the entire week and longer you can easily freeze these i'll give you details on that but really quick i just want to introduce myself my name is heidi i'm a wife and a mom of two i love to share things on a budget if you're interested in that consider subscribing you want to start out by preheating your oven to 375 degrees i'm using the silicone cupcake molds for this you can easily use the cupcake tins and just make sure you spray it really well with pam or some kind of non-stick spray i'm going to be making three different type of the little egg muffins we're going to do just pepperoni we're going to do just sausage links and then we're going to do a combination of both the pepperoni and the sausage links if you want to count your carbs to a t definitely measure these out i did not i'm just making these for my husband as an easy quick breakfast once he gets to work if you freeze these what you'll do is take a damp paper towel and wrap it and you'll heat these up in increments of 15 seconds. If you're not freezing these, they will last up to one week in your fridge. If you freeze these, I recommend using press and seal or some kind of wrap and then putting them in a freezer bag or an airtight freezer container. So I will be using nonstick spray to put in the silicone baking cups, but you don't have to if they're silicone, they should not stick. I put in all the pepperoni in a row, all the sausage links, and then the combination. That way, when I take these out and then put them in containers, I know what's what. The next step is to take eggs and you put them all inside the cups. You can mix all your eggs at once and pour them in, but I wanted to measure each one as like one egg in each cup. I did add in some heavy whipping cream just a little bit to make it more like a quiche type breakfast. For the seasonings, I will be using black peppercorn, sea salt, and a little bit of oregano. The next step is to take your fork and kind of mix it all in together, or you can leave it as is. It's up to you. I just wanted to mix it in all together and then put the seasonings on top and then top it off with cheese, the organic cheese. This one actually had zero carbs, but I ran out of it, so I added in some of the mild cheddar cheese and just kind of sprinkled that on top as well. Depending on your oven, you want to bake these at 375 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes. I baked mine for 25 minutes total. Another prep that I'm sharing, I like to do snack preps. So for my husband, I wanted to snack prep some protein bowls. These are pumpkin pie spiced candied pecans. I will put in the description box the recipe. I made those the night before. We have some sliced cheese, a variety of that, and some turkey pepperoni. And then I'm going to also use this machine and make some um, boiled eggs. These are the containers I'll be using to prep those. The egg machine, I have purchased this a while back. I have shared it on previous videos. It's under $20. So I'm gonna just fill the water to the hard line to make hard boiled eggs. And then underneath they have like a little needle that you poke the egg on the top that steams it perfectly and it's good to go. Best gadget ever. Um, I've always had trouble peeling eggs, but this machine, I don't know, it just peels right off. So what I'm going to do is start these up and then go ahead and start prepping the bowls. So whenever the bowls are ready, I'll only have to peel the eggs and get them ready. So I'm prepping seven bowls worth. I had seven eggs left over, so I wanted to go ahead and do seven bowls. And all I'm doing is adding in each thing that I showed you, the turkey, pepperoni, the cheese, and the pecans. I ended up wrapping the pecans in some press and seal. That way they weren't going to touch the eggs and the other items. But my husband actually told me that he tasted the pecans and the eggs together. Um, so maybe if you have like a separated bowl, it won't be so bad. I didn't taste it when I tried one, but I did try it early on. So maybe after a while, I'm not sure. But that's what I did for that. Once the egg muffins are done cooking, you will want to let these cool down before transferring them into the container or wherever you're going to be placing them. While that's cooling down and the eggs are cooking, I'm going to work on a quick dessert. This cheesecake icing dessert is definitely something easy and simple and delicious to make. You'll need one cup of monk fruit sweetener. I use granulated, but I definitely recommend powdered over that. Four tablespoons of butter at room temperature one eight ounce container of philadelphia cream cheese two teaspoons of vanilla and two teaspoons of heavy whipping cream 
Once you have everything into your bowl, the next step is to take a hand mixer and you're gonna mix this in until it's light and fluffy. So here's what the mixture should look like. It's light and fluffy. It's ready to be put in the containers. I'm gonna use these containers. They are airtight storage containers. I'm gonna go by spoonfuls and kind of evenly measure these out. I have six containers to use. So I'm gonna place these in the fridge and when we want a quick dessert, this will be it. We could even use the pecans and dip them in. I definitely recommend using the powdered monk fruit sweetener sugar over the granulated one. It gives you like a grainy taste in these. It's still really good, but the powdered sugar will give you that smooth consistency like icing, which this is like a cheesecake icing. It's really good. So now that the egg muffins are cooled down, all I'm doing is taking these out of the silicone and putting these into containers and to know which ones are which, I ended up taking a little index card and writing underneath and taping it. So the last step for the protein bowls is just to peel the eggs. I like to take a Walmart bag and then put all the eggshells in there and then take it out to the trash so the house doesn't smell like eggs. So here are the protein bowls completed. It's really simple to do. I ended up cutting the egg in half and then putting a little salt and pepper on top. I'm gonna put the lid on these, put them in the fridge and they're ready to go for a quick little snack. I'm gonna share with y'all a quick, delicious dinner. It's a Philly cheese steak chicken wrap. This is all low carbs. The pepper and onion blend, I'll be cooking that for myself. My husband doesn't eat peppers and onions, but if you do, and you have more than one person you're cooking for, you can cook the onions and the peppers with the chicken all together. So I'm gonna saute my onions and peppers separately in cooking the chicken. And I'm gonna take this bag and just freeze the rest. And you, of course, can use fresh onions and peppers. All I did for seasoning was use garlic powder, onion powder, a little bit of salt and pepper, and the Pam cooking spray with the avocado oil for the chicken. We did add cheese on top of this blend, and then we used the carb balanced mission tortilla wraps to eat these on or you could just do a bowl without the wraps if you don't want those carbs i hope you guys enjoyed this video and found this helpful and found some ideas on different ways to prep for the week all my subscribers thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching if you are new i hope you'll stick around as always i hope you guys have a great day until next time bye guys